How to prevent Bryn Mawr from being wicked. You are an SGA. Well, of course I am. I'm a Bryn Mawr undergraduate. I'm already in the Self-Government Association. Go to plenary. What is plenary? Well, let me tell you. Plenary is held once a semester. One third of the student body, usually around 430 students, gathers to discuss and vote on resolutions written by students and for students. It is an opportunity for discussion and collaboration and a space in which every voice can be heard. Why should I go when I'm so busy with being popular? We need quorum in order to begin and continue to have plenary. Every student who comes counts to quorum. Without the students, there is no plenary. Without plenary, we wouldn't have made the following changes. Plenary gave us the Lusty Cup. Extended mailroom hours. Added composting in the dining halls. Limited takeout boxes to be more eco-friendly. And 24-hour access to the campus center. Through plenary, we can make powerful and impactful changes. So how does plenary work? Lucky for you, there's a resolution being read right now. Follow me, and we can go listen to it! I am Alphaboa, class of 2016. I use they, them pronouns, and I am presenting my resolution on the wizards at Bryn Mawr should continue to allow animals with speaking abilities to stay on campus. Whereas Bryn Mawr already has a vast diversity of animals that have the ability to speak, Whereas Bryn Mawr College is the only college with speaking animals. Whereas students at Bryn Mawr may learn and grow through communicating with such animals. Whereas Bryn Mawr College and the students give such animals love and joy already. Be it resolved that Bryn Mawr College allows animals with speaking abilities to stay at Bryn Mawr for all of its undergraduate students to enjoy. If anyone has any comments, uh, please come to the pros, cons, or questions. It would be very expensive, and the college already has existing expenses like maintenance fees. And we're already dangerously close to being in the red. It adds diversity on campus. Diversity and opportunities for learning should be a priority on our list. Okay, we have heard opinions from all sides. Let's do a visual ballot. Raise your hands if you are in favor. Raise your hands if you are opposed. Raise your hands if you abstain. Wow, that was so awesome! We stopped the wizard from sending those lovely talking animals away. I know, right? Aren't you glad that you stayed at plenary? Yes! When's the next one? Sunday, September 28th at noon in Goodhart Auditorium.